Hi, I'm Susan Shovers, and I'm a resident of the V in Aventura, Florida, and I'm Bubby, and I am the host of a cooking show, Cooking with Bubby, and today I've invited two of my favorite people to join me in an English episode. I love anything English, and I love English tea, so we're going to make shortbread, and let me introduce you to my friends, Heather and Sherry, who are the tea and strumpets. My friends, the strumpets. <laughs> so, shall we begin? We're going to make the shortbread and then we're going to learn how to make real and your tea. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take about a stick and four ounces of room temperature butter and we're going to mix that with a teaspoon of vanilla. Add to that a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. So just that's three, it. three ingredients, huh? Just three ingredients. That's great. I can, smell the, I can yeah. smell the butter. I can smell the butter. Yeah. Yes. Smell the butter. Yeah. Smell the vanilla. Yes. Yep. Okay. I'm going to scrape down the bowl a little bit. Get all of it in there. It's a very dry batter, so you have to mix it well. Doesn't need any liquid. No liquid. Okay. Mm. Looks, it's a heavy duty mixture. Yes. How does it liquid. look, Susan? We'll see in a minute. Okay. So now I mixed the dough. It all came together very well. That's how easy this is. Well, that right? is going to say because uh, yes, I mean it's it's a ball of dough. It's a ball of dough. It's okay. Of and then. You can knead it a little bit and get it into where it's really pliable. Look how easy that is. That, that is amazing. It is. Yeah. And after you knead it. I think that took two minutes. Two minutes. No more than two minutes, that's for sure. It's absolutely perfect. And you make it into a rectangle like that. Okay. And then you wrap it up in foil. Okay. And you put it in the refrigerator and you chill it. For, for an hour. hour, or you can keep it in the refrigerator for several weeks. It does. Oh, really happen. and truly. It does. Can and you freeze it or you would you not make it? No, you can freeze it till you need it. That's one. That is it. That is good. So that is that. Now I'm going to show you. We'll do that one after a while. This is one that I just took out of the refrigerator. I tried to bring it to room temperature. And you slice it very thin, about a quarter of an inch, like so. It works perfectly. So you're just slicing like cookies. I'm slicing cookies. Well, there you go. And Sherry, will you go in my second drawer and give me a fork? Second drawer? Yeah. So this is next, here? The next one. The next one? Uh-huh. And uh, just the regular fork? Regular fork. Okay. That I can do. And that what I do you do to make it authentic? Oh, it's prick it. You prick it. Uh-huh. Strumpets and crickets. Yes, yes and, okay. that's, and that's how you make shortbread. That is amazing. And that's what it looks like. Why is it called shortbread? I don't know. You're I, the lady I from I England. Don't know. I don't know. I was going to say, you're our English uh, you know, that's consort good. here. I may be, but do you know, I do not. Well, that's. I do not know. I don't know. I don't know either. I just know that it's I an personally name. love it. It is an interesting yes. name. Yeah. And I know, is it Scottish? Yes. Yes. It yes. is Scottish. Yes. Scottish yes. or British, either one. So, right. So I wonder if it's called the same thing. I'm going to finish this after a while because I want you to teach us how to make tea. Oh, that is well. I'll awesome. be happy to do that. I was okay. going to say, this because tea is hard. You have to boil water. That's very hard. I know. I know. I have trouble That's with that. That's all I know is to boil water. <laughs> and in England, any excuse, any excuse for a cup of for a cup of tea. And all through the war, that I think saved everybody. Oh, was really? a cup of was tea. Was a cup of tea? Yes. Now, you, you were there during the war. No, I you were not. I was blessed. 
because that I evacuated to Australia. Oh my goodness. I crossed the Atlantic, the German submarines, I crossed the Pacific in peacetime, but came back across the Pacific with Japanese submarines. And we got to San Francisco Harbor, the ship did a turn, and they apparently found out there was a mine. We were heading oh. right for the mine. Oh my goodness. So how did you avert the ship? The ship to avoid avoid the ship. ship, yes. Okay. But actually, when we left England in 1939, when France capitulated, um, we would went to Liverpool to get a ship to New York. And would you believe we got on the ship and they took us off of it an hour later and put us on a different ship. And when we were in the middle of the Atlantic, the captain told us that the ship that had taken us up had been torpedoed by German submarines. Good Lord. I know. Good Lord, to live that kind of life. I mean, it, and my mother was so courageous, she never showed me that she was afraid, and she couldn't swim, and she didn't like the sea. Well, but, but she was willing to brave it to get you the heck out yes, of Dodge. Yes. That's a good idea. Yes, and we idea. saw Pearl Harbor with all the ships. Oh, did you yes. really? Yes. I mean, I visited afterwards, of course, the memorial. There, yes, you know. yes. But what, what, how exciting, how exciting as a young girl. But it's, it's um, one of those things that I was not meant to be, I guess, in the ocean. I made it to land. <laughs> Because I couldn't have been torpedoed uh -huh. and killed. No, well, you weren't. No, and, and that's why she's in our kitchen. She's a, that's why she's yeah. in our kitchen today. Mm -hmm. And thank God for that. Yes. Thank God for that. But all my family were in the Army, the Air Force. My aunts were air raid wardens. And um, thank God they all came through the war. That's one of the things. I that's have wonderful. this <clears throat> this thing about watching English movies during the war. That I'm fascinated with all not not the scenes of the war, but how families the live. stamina, oh, the <clears> stamina, <throat> and yes, I mean yeah. I, I I don't know if I'd be that strong. The but. worst things I think were we actually we went back to England before the end of the war, and they had what they called doodle bugs, which were unmanned um, bombs, and they flew through the air and they landed, mm. and then you would hear the noise yeah. once they landed. And my father was standing at a bus stop and he decided that he wouldn't wait and he walked on and a moment or two later it was demolished where wow. he was. Amazing. Amazing. Anyway, tea, yes, right? Tea. Tea. Okay, tea. So, tea. so I have it, and that's, um, oh, here I have, I'm just putting sorry. everything out. Okay. You know that tea was so valuable in the 18th century it was locked up. It was a, with, with a padlock, I think, or whatever really? they used to lock tea, yes, My in a caddy. Well, you know what? I do know tea caddies, so that was that, that comes from the war. Well, no, this, no. Is, this is centuries earlier because oh, tea really? was such an expensive commodity. Hmm. And How uh, interesting. Because, I, I mean, my grandmother had a tea caddy, you know, and I, but I never understood the meaning or why. Well, it was often a, a tin. Well, this this metal. was metal. This was metal on the yes. inside, but wood on the outside. Yes. Yeah. It must have been very attractive. It was very it? pretty. It was very pretty. Yes. It was one of her prized possessions. So anyway, I have okay. I have a teapot here, and you have to heat this teapot before you put a spoonful mm -hmm. of tea in. You uh -huh. can do this for each person. Each person has one spoon of this. It's Let too heavy. It's heavy and it's, heavy and it's um, very hot. Okay, so oh. be careful. Is it okay on your counter? Oh yeah. Okay. The counter is fine. That's why I have this counter. Okay. All right. So tell me when. Be careful. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. I'm going now, to what you do then is do this. You're warming the inside of the pot. And then you pour this out. Okay. So I'm going to pour this out. All right, here you here. go. And then a teaspoon for each of us. And we have three cups. 
you sometimes could put in one extra for good luck. Okay. So anyway, here is this tea. Now this one, is goes directly two, into that. Directly into the pot. Two. Three. And I'll do just a little more for good luck. For good luck. Now that's regular loose tea. This is regular loose okay. tea. Okay. And then we're going to pour the hot water in here and let it steep. Okay, be very careful. And whatever's not in the pot. How much shall I put in? Up to the brim. To the brim? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Then pour the rest of the hot water in here. Because if people want an extra cup of tea, you can pour hot water from that pot. Yes. Right. And people have all different shapes. There are specific hot water pots. Really? Yes. Now, is this, I boil this water, but I don't know if it's boiling now. Does it matter? It looks like the steam is coming off the top. So that's it pretty good. The yeah. other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put what's called a tea cozy and people knit oh, this yes. and it's got a hole here and a hole here and of course a pom pom. That's top. another grandmother thing. Yes. <laughs> My <laughs> grandmother didn't have yeah, tea cozy. And this <laughs> is meant to keep it. I may have the wrong, let's see, I should look and see which shape goes where. I think this is right now. And then this keeps it nice and cozy and you sit in front of the fire and, and just you have your tea and cakes and crumpets and shortbreads and right? shortbread and, short and, short and scones perhaps so this might take about five minutes to, to see and some people like to have in england milk in their tea and of course sugar now, there's an interesting thing about whether the milk goes into the cup first and then you pour the tea, or whether you pour the tea and then add the milk. And somebody said it has to do with if it's a porcelain teacup, ah. that you, it's safer to put the cold milk in first. Exactly. And then the tea. But other people, and I'm one of them, I put the tea in and you would strain it. And by the way, if you, uh, <laughs> some people tell fortunes when they have finished the cup, if any tea leaves are at the bottom, they'll look at the, sh the pictures, it's like a Rorschach test. Exactly, wow. And see what their future has for them. That's reading tea leaves. Yeah, put, that is reading tea leaves, isn't it? <laughs> then you put this, um, on the top of the cup so that it will allow the tea to be clear going through. Shall and we try it? We can try it and see and then we can add milk if you would like milk or not. So yes. lemon is not an English... Uh, I have lemon. But some people might like lemon but uh, in England it's, no. it's more milk how is it? Does it look? looks perfect. It looks fine. It looks perfect. Beautiful. 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 So, and I will do this one. Is this a particular type of tea I'm going to run? Yes, at the bottom. This is, oh, this is what I, oh, this is spiced Earl Grey black tea. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Which is very good. And depending on how much milk you would fill the cup. So I like a lot of milk. You might not like milk in your tea. But, so I will only perhaps fill it three quarters, if that. Because you know you're going to have milk. Because I want right. to leave space for the milk. So then you have this... Um, oh, actually, I did it wrong. Because this is the... The strainer. Yes, <laughs> it worked anyway. There you go. Perfect. But it still, it, yeah, yes. it still worked. Yeah, it still worked. But there are a few tea leaves to read. Yes. Yeah. Are there? Yes. There's tea leaves to read. Yeah. Okay. We'll put a spoon here. If you want sugar, you can stir it. Another spoon here. Another spoon here. 
And there we are. And that's it. It's and we have our cookies and, and our cookies. say, Bob's your uncle. Oh, you Bob's that? your uncle. Have Bob's you your that? uncle. I know. I've heard that? that in a long I time. I don't know. It's just I was going to say, but I've heard that in my life. You yes. have? Yes. I never heard. I must have lived it's all my life. It's all right. Yes. Oh, I guess. Yes. But but I think I that's it. Bob's okay, I don't remember that. Thank you so much, my strumpets. Oh. Thank it's you. been a joy. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. We and are glad enjoy your tea. Oh, thank you. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs>